Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and yeah today is another day with another deck which I'm gonna be showing off in this channel. It's gonna be the machine gun pump this time. Recently I've recorded the video on how to uh, navigate the uh, normal machine gun cycle but since meta is kinda stale and you kinda can play whatever you want I've decided to record the video on more fun of a deck, it appears my opponent is actually running lightning which will be a very good response to my mana collector. Also he kinda predicted my swordsman so that's gonna be more value for him I guess. So, uh, like with every deck pretty much, the first thing that you want to do with your uh, deck is to recognize your opponent's deck so you can basically uh, know how to behave and my opponent will be playing some kind of beatdown as it seems because he's playing a uh, lightning that was my first tell that it, this deck will be kinda heavier and the second tell is playing mother devil which uh, pretty much only gets value once it uh, survives multiple uh, waves of attacks and that's uh, usually possible only with beatdown so we're gonna just go with a perfect defense against these bone blasters only takes a reflex and uh, uh, practice to uh, pull that off consistently. He uh, uses another lightning against my mana collector, which I think is cute play, but uh, right now he will have just a machine gun on his tower. He's gonna respawn with a helicopter, kind of mitigating damage, that's fair play, which I pretty much don't mind. I'm gonna uh, play skeletons here to mitigate the damage from helicopter, and then I'm gonna be playing... Uh, the Fire Tiny, he's gonna play a uh, Gunner though, which will complicate things a bit. I'm gonna play another Mana Collector, nothing too shabby so far. My opponent will be actually playing a Mother Devil, so it looks like uh, we have been deceived for the fact that my opponent actually is playing kinda a cheaper deck, even though he's playing Mother Devil. This means only uh, one thing, which means that his deck is suboptimal and that's absolutely fine for us. I actually missed that poison. I could have uh, clapped this gunner as well. I would love to protect my mana collector by all means. I would love to also not take that hit, but unfortunately I was too late with my swordsman. That happens. Sometimes you just cannot do anything about that. And my machine gun actually will get a lock, which will be very convenient in this uh, position. I'm gonna play another mana collector and uh, it appears my opponent just throws in a towel which is fair enough considering how bad of his position looks like right now. So yeah, that's gonna be the very comfortable game number one. Let's jump to game number two. And in game number two we're gonna be facing a Wu who's gonna be 52 metal player. Let's see what he is cooking for us in this uh, particular game. He's playing explore first play which kinda means, I don't know, multiple things. He's going for the Earthquake, so that's already a bad sign for us since we are playing with a machine gun. And every Earthquake pretty much, yeah, g gives him plus one trait, which uh, obviously it's not good for us. We're gonna just go for the machine gun and he's gonna actually be playing Brute. So yeah, that's gonna be a very uncomfortable situation for us. Right now I'll have to still spend something to counter this brute. I'm gonna play my mana collector as soon as uh, it's uh, physically possible to get any value out of it pretty much. Uh, and after that I think I'm not gonna be playing any mana collectors till the end of the game since uh, none other mana collectors will likely to get value. I'm gonna just play this right here to force him to cycle back to his EQ. And if he cycles to his EQ, I'm gonna get uh, some value with my mana. I actually will play a machine gun right now to just make him choose what he wants to earthquake. And he actually earthquakes the correct thing. He correct correctly chooses the machine gun because if he didn't EQ that, uh, it would have been a very bad position for him. But it's okay. That's that was actually something that I didn't expect. Him playing a Necromancer, I would love to get a kill on that and right now he's gonna actually get a huge amount of damage in retaliation which obviously is good for him. I'm gonna play Machine Gun right now because he wasted a spell and that's pretty much the only moment where we can win this game because if we don't win here we're gonna be in a very bad shape. So he's gonna play another E2 against our Machine Gun, we are uh, able to afford one more pump 
and right now we pretty much uh, cannot pump uh, till the end of the game. Uh, I've said it uh, a couple of times already, but uh, I cannot understate how scary these matchups are. I actually will get a poison down because it's gonna guarantee myself a tower as well as I'm gonna just uh, get this Necromancer of the board. I'm gonna play Skeletons as soon as possible just to get value. I'm gonna get a Swordsman on this uh, candle wheel, just playing as aggressively with my uh, troops at the bridge as it's possible. I'm gonna get a machine gun in an anti-EQ spot so I can uh, basically get some pressure and uh, if I'm attacking he pretty much cannot attack. He ca has to address my machine gun because after all machine gun is pretty scary even if you have a correct responses you still have to kinda respect it because if you don't your tower will likely go down and that's gonna be the case in this game since I have one tower and he has zero, so I'm gonna just take the game and yeah, GG. And now we're up against Pippo DP89, who I don't uh, remember what he was usually playing, but he already calls a good game, which is I don't know, maybe a good sign. He he is, uh, I think, playing Splemetry from his first couple of cards. Wouldn't be uh, too bad uh, of a matchup if he really did. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just play machine gun. Let's bowl it and see what happens. He actually plays a swordsman on the opposite lane, which is a correct play way to play this matchup. He uses a cycle, which I think is incorrect, since uh, right now he is gonna be using three mana to achieve pretty much nothing. And yeah, I'm getting a lock and single, which is pretty lethal because right now I'm. He's not gonna be having uh, too much of uh, of anything to uh, stop this machine gun from locking and he already thinks that is the uh, game ending advantage. So yeah, that's one thing about a better players. They usually will uh, they usually will uh, tab out sooner if they find themselves in an uncomfortable position and that's the case here. So yeah, I'm gonna just take this win and jump to the next one. Slimetry is pretty easy matchup to be honest. And we're in the next game of the video against Happy Obama, which is very funny nickname to say the least. He spends a 7 mana against my 5 put on defense, so I can comfortably put my mana collector and start gaining even more elixir and mana advantage, however we wanna call it. He plays a swordsman to counter my swordsman, that's a fair play. I expect him to actually use a spell against my mana collector, any, please. Okay, he, he, he instead tries to pressure and get damage instead, which I don't think is the best plan considering the fact that that's exactly what I wanted him to do, just ram into my position uh, while well, I will just defend perfectly and get a second pump. And right now the position is already very scary for him because if he doesn't, uh, okay, if he doesn't something, uh, doesn't do something now, yeah, he's gonna be in a very bad position. I'm gonna actually defend this Dark Knight, defend this Super Ape. Super Ape should be able to get only one hit and that's the case here. So we're gonna just go for the Machine Gun. He spent a lot of mana, so uh, there's only way, one way to exploit it and that's just by playing my Wind Condition at the bridge with still two pumps on the board. I'm gonna play Far Tiny, predicting his anything, to be honest. I expected him to play Fall Heart, but a Bomb Tower is nice as well since my fire tiny bought me time to play a swordsman uh, afterwards i'm gonna actually cycle to a fire tiny since it's gonna kill some uh, forms i'm gonna absolutely get rid of everything he uh, owned in his life i'm gonna play a swordsman honestly there's no reason not to i'm gonna play a mana collector here uh, just because I'm gonna benefit from it anyway, and I uh, just want to play a super ape. N normally it's not a good play, but since I am pretty hard winning right now, I can pretty much play whatever I like, so it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna play another mana collector, he's gonna be forced to play a dark knight. I actually con I'm considering to sacrifice the uh, mana collector to get some, uh, to get some damage. Uh, off from this Dark Knight, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna protect it because I think Dark Knight was uh, coming to my uh, to my gunner, which I really wanted to protect for for the time being. He's gonna get a nice block. I'm gonna play another Mana Collector. Like I've said, 
usually not a, a good play, especially uh, in double mana. Usually if you uh, are playing a uh, machine gun with pump, you will be uh, you will be willing to just uh, sacrifice uh, uh, some damage to get a pump advantage in single and in double you want to just cash out on this advantage. But since I had so much mana that I didn't know what to do with it, I just play another pump. So uh, as a general rule of thumb, if you are having advantage uh, going to a double with pumps, like you have two pumps or more, you shouldn't be playing pumps in double. Uh, but if you don't, uh, that, that's definitely a nice way to get the advantage. So yeah, that's gonna be another game. Let's jump to the, uh, the last one game of today's video. And we're gonna actually get a rematch against Wu, who, uh, like previously, has 58 medals. I believe my uh, brother Wu is actually late to the party because uh, he wanted to abuse some Viking Tower glitch. And there's no other explanation uh, to uh, just uh, straight up footman at the bridge. I actually kind of misplayed this defense. I could have definitely uh, defend that way cheaper. And as you can see, he's gonna be having a very comfortable mana advantage, four to be exact. And right now I'll have to just defend that. I have to prove that uh, I have what it takes to uh, defend a almighty brute. I'm gonna play some skeletons to start whittling it uh, down uh, very soon. He's actually he's actually gonna go for my gunner, which is correct play in this position, because gunner uh, is outputting a lot of DPS, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get away with the defense. I think we are kind of even on mana. Also, okay, that's, that's a poison if I ever see one. Uh, at least he will know that I have poison, but at the same time we kind of reset the board I don't think he has any way to uh, Or of aggression. He actually shows the earthquake which is perfect for me because I was about to play uh, my pump anyway And he would got get a very nice mana uh, trade But right now uh, he's just in a trouble because uh, he has to deal with this mana collector and uh, I know for a fact he doesn't have a way. I'm gonna play a machine gun on the opposite side. Once your opponent plays a uh, brute uh, on one side, you have to counter attack uh, on the other one just to uh, justify your uh, advantage. And right now it's gonna be actually very uh, cool position for me to play with uh, because yeah, he's gonna playing a uh, T-Rex right now to stop my uh, to stop my gunner, but. I don't really care about that gunner, it fulfilled its job of protecting machine gun. And yeah, here comes the second one and there's just no stopping of his troubles. This uh, piercing archer will fall, uh, he actually will play some footman uh, which will, uh, will be very weakened by my uh, tinies, so that's gonna be a nice thing for me. Actually, only nice things uh, happen to me right now, he even placed the cycle for whatever reason, activates my viking tower, which will j just mean everything that I make even easier e as if uh, it wasn't easy already. I'm gonna get uh, this brute down as soon as possible, he's gonna get an EQ, which is a perfect spell against machine gun, but not if you're this far behind. He's just playing cards and hoping that it's gonna put him out of this misery because I don't see him coming back to the game. And that's gonna be a very nice uh, closing game because, uh, like I've said, um, Machine Gun Punk isn't the easiest deck to play, but uh, it takes only one mistake of, out of your opponent to completely seal the deal. As you could have seen, he was kinda trying to get my gunner uh, down he should have been patient, just uh, wait for the tower to take it uh, out and kept EQ for my pump. But once I got a pump, he just had to be aggressive to justify uh, to justify uh, me having pump on the board. And it wasn't just the case. He, he kind of misplayed it. And it sometimes happens, like, even though my deck is very, uh, I wouldn't say... It, it isn't aggressive in a way, but it's very violent once you get pumps on the board and that's why you have to just stop these pumps uh, at all costs. So yeah, that's gonna be another video from me uh, for today. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I post Boomerina content from now on very consistently and you definitely don't want to miss out this Apple. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh,
Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.